Hello, fellow traders, tis I, the rumpled one. Coming to you on Monday, June the 20th, the year's 2022. Let's talk trading. Ways to use range. This video is for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Ways to use range. Um, I had a trader ask about one of the charts that I show. Uh, when I flip through my charts, and I believe it was this chart, and he had the number circled, and he's like, "How do you, how do you use range? How do you use this indicator?" He's, and I guess maybe um, I make the mistake of assuming um, the uh, viewer listener knows a little bit more than they do because he says that you know maybe i was talking over his head but anyway range well first what is range range is the distance between two points okay on the chart and normally i look at the high of the candle minus the low of the candle and i get a measurement in pips so if we look here we've got and i usually uh, don't use the uh, points. The fifth digit, I use just the first four because it's, you know, it's really not that important, at least not to me. So we had a high here of 22.79. Let's just round it up to 80. And then we have a, a low of the day, 21.98. So 81 pips. So that's one way to use range that we just measure it. How far has price gone? Now, what one of the things that I've done though is I've uh, taken a little bit more detailed look at range here and I broke it down with the frequency distribution. So in this case, how many times over the last thousand bars, how many times is the range greater than a thousand on the daily? Well, a hundred percent of the time, right? If it moves one, one point, it's greater than zero. Well, you can see here, it's greater than 10 all the time, greater than 20. So what does that tell me? Well, the first thing it tells me is if, uh, chances are, um, if I buy um, somewhere within the first 20 pips of the day, then chances are price, I have a chance that price is going to move out of the first 20 pips of the day. That's not to say, it's not necessarily the buy zone, but what it says is price is going to move more than 20 pips going to move more than 30 pips, you know, 99.7%, more than 40, 98.9, more than 50, 96. So when I look at today's chart and I see that the uh, current range was, what was it, 89 pips? Mm, there's a little bit better than 50% statistical uh, probability that uh, price is going to move outside of uh, this range right here. Now, today is a bank holiday, I do believe. So we might not have the same action as normal. But that is one way I use the range oh it's only 81 pips not 88 or 89 and you can see here as i normally say we've got seven pairs over 100 and why is 100 important well you can see here it's only 45 percent at a time that it's going to be 100 or greater so what that tells me is if the price is over 100 then there's chance that 
if, if it's near the high or the low of the day, there's going to be a reversal. So using that information, I can determine whether or not it's time for a reversal. Should I take the chance on a reversal or not? Now, high minus the close, close minus the low. So in other words, the distance from the current high to the close, current low to the close. Basically splitting the range up in the two pieces right here. I call that my price GPS. So um, I know where price is in regards to these different points. Now the other part is high minus open and open minus low. So these two numbers are for buy zone. These two numbers are for the rat trade. So you can see with the buy zone and the way I have the buy zone set is I have it 10 pips away from the open. So 10, open plus 10, open minus 10. And you can see that right there, plus 10, minus 10. So because I know when price hits those areas, chances are it's a good chance it could keep going. Sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. Sometimes a little, sometimes a little, sometimes a lot. So that's what I am looking to exploit is the movement of price. And that's pretty much it. Now, uh, another aspect of range is that's looking at it, say, on the daily. Well, actually, you can then also look at it on the hourly. How many times does a uh, one hour candle over the last thousand hours, how many times was it bigger than 10? 89% of the time, bigger than 20, 53. So knowing that, let's see, where's that chart? Do I not have the wall mall lines up? Oh, here they are. <laughs> so knowing these H1 bars are usually greater than 10 pips is what gives the wall mall method or is what produced the wall mall method. So you can see here, looking at these hours, we only had one under 20, but they're all over 10. So if price opens between these lines and it's going to be greater than 10, it has to go either above the line, below the line, or both. But if so long as it's greater than 10, it's got to cross the line. Even if it starts on the line, if it's greater than 10, it's going to, it's going to stick out. Even if it's only by a point, it's still greater than 10. Of course, you're not going to make any money at the point, but... That's not the point, pun intended. Point is, is that it's usually a lot bigger than 10. And that's what the frequency distribution tells us. And then what we do is we hone into the hour. So right now we're on, on this broker, I'm on hour 16. Chances of this hour being greater than 13 on a Monday, okay, is we had eight. Mondays and eight sixteen hundred bars, all eight were greater than a hundred. So you can see here, this is the time. These hours are the time to trade on Monday. So we've got the day filter happening. So it's it makes it kind of simple. You know what pair to trade when to trade it and using the wall mall lines you go short at the red line and long at the green line i mean 
it's pretty simple. Some people go, well, why don't you do an EA? Well, remember, the reason I don't do EAs and put them especially in, for the public is because there's too many things that can go wrong. You, you've got it. You're trusting servers. You're trusting networks. You're trusting your computer doesn't fail. Um, there's just so many things, so many links in that chain that can mess up. And that's why I don't do EAs. That's not to say that an EA can't be written because you can tell it when to start, when to stop. And the thing about this trade is, you know, this, any of these horizontal line trades is there's really no thought involved because you, when price moves to the line, you trade in the direction price is moving. You enter the trade, your stop loss is set. Now, you could do an E8. It automatically checks your trade. If there's no stop loss, it automatically pops one in for you. Um, you know, that's a possibility or use an EA to actually enter your trade where you click on a button and you've already filled out your parameters for, say, uh, stop loss, you know, and or take profit. It's really not that difficult. So I hope that answers the question about the range. Um, I should probably, so we've already seen about the high minus the open and the low, and then the open minus the low to see how far price moved for buy zone traders and then rat zone traders. You can see the zones here. And how do we determine those zones? We uh, look at the frequency distribution and we can change this. So in this case, it would be high minus close. For the um, red rats. And so you can see here, it's greater than 20 only 21 percent of the time so so long as you get in your trade somewhere between the high and the high minus 20 um no that's not right that's i'm thinking the other way so let's look at the 10 because remember price has been changing oh sorry hey Let's go back here to the uh, daily because this is rats. Um, I had it on hourly. So you can see here, difference greater than 20, 78% of the time. So what that means is if you get in a trade somewhere between the high of the day and high minus 20, by the end of the day, there's a good chance that it's going to be greater than 20 and you'll be able to pick up some pips. That's what the uh, rat zone is all about. So you can see here, if you had gotten in this trade, you know, say maybe last hour, somewhere in, in this area, then there's an opportunity right now to exit with uh, some pips, somewhere between say 28 and 47 pips. And this happens every day. I mean, very rarely um, does price not exit that rat zone. It happens on occasion, but it's not that rare. So, fellow traders, those are some of the ways to use range. And remember, when you're sitting at your trading terminal, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So, go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one. Over and out.